Hi, this is Dr. Anita Bhatia and I teach English literature at Garulia International College. Now, I think everybody knows what is there in English literature. But still, I just try to give you a brief summary. In English literature, there are several genres. Now, in those genres, we have we have a novel, we have a drama, we have short stories, we have poetry. Basically, all these things just are nothing but they hold up a mirror of our society, of the experiences that we share. Everybody produces them through these poetries, novels and dramas. Each character that is portrayed may could be imaginary, could be total fiction like Harry Potter or could be a realistic image, just, just someone that is complete flesh and blood. So these are what? These are basically nothing but experiences that we share, imagination that we share. We take you to a complete different world. Now we have, if, if I just speak about something specific like um, um, Shakespeare's character. Shakespeare's, um, if we, few of his dramas or few are so realistic like if you think about um, a, um, a character Shylock or something like um, Eden Garden, all these places or all these characters which are just imagined, are just fictions, but you really feel that they are of flesh and blood. Why? Because it is depicted in such beautiful ways. So basically when we are going through these fictions, non-fictions, realistic stories, it is depicting us. It is somewhere associated with all of us, where we many a times understand the psychology of human beings into different, different characters. So it, uh, it helps us. Now, you may ask me how, what, what does literature help us as a student? What am I going to gain? Hmm. There are many things that we'll gain. First and foremost, the moral values, ethics, Whenever we read any form of art, it can be in the form of a poem, just a short poem. It has so many moral values and ethics that it gives us. It gives us how we should be moral, what we should not do in life, how we should be respectful with elders and we should not be disrespectful, how we should speak the truth and we should not lie. Now, there are so many things which we know just by some so many things which we know just by some short stories. Imagine if we go to something very, very uh, common when we read in our school times also. Any short story, right? So, why do we, we take those, uh, those as an epitome? Okay, we don't have to be this. We don't have to be, suppose if I say, we don't have to be a miser like Shylock. We don't have to be Iago to poison somebody's mind. Or if we take something very, 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 very stupid, we can say that uh, we should not um, kind of, be, you know, be um, uh, a kind of that, uh, what was that short story where you, uh, you had the two cats fighting for a bre uh, fighting for a piece of uh, chapati, and I think the monkey eats it all. Give me little, give me little. So basically, if we are uh, use our brains and if we are united, this will not happen. So so many things. It is not just one thing that we learn from literature. I mean, if you ask me one thing that literature gives, I think it's an ocean. It's a deep ocean. We just need to swim in that ocean, imbibe and imbue loads of knowledge, ethics, and we try to be a complete person. Thank you.